Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hanging Out with me, my kitchen space. In today's episode, I'll show you the simplest way in which you can prepare delicious omena. So with me here, I have my list of ingredients. And from this corner, I have my cooking oil. And I'll come back to this in a few. I have my salt. I have my fish. I have some garlic and a seasoning cube. I have my tomatoes and I also have my tomato paste. About this oil, I decided that I should get some separate oil for deep frying my omena because that's what we are doing today. And guess what? I just bought this at 50 shillings. This barely looks like even quarter cup, but it is what it is. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll start off by washing my fishes and this is how I wash my omena. I simply soak it in hot water two times for about five minutes each and then after that I'm going to run it through cold water just to remove the sand particles that are found within the fish and just to mention I also selected my omena. I removed the shells and any other thing that may be found and so this is what you have and I've set them like this so that they can dry. Also for this particular recipe we also need lots and lots of tomatoes but because this economy is economy i just decided to go with a bunch of few tomatoes and also add in some tomato paste but if at all you have the lots and lots of tomatoes feel free so as i've already hinted i'm going to be deep frying my omena and i'm going to add in my cooking oil worth 50 shillings and i decided to try out this after my previous episode where i posted some omena using the same recipe and someone from the lake side told me that it is best when you first deep fry your fish so that's exactly what you're going to be doing but this oil doesn't seem like it's enough so i'm just going to add a little bit more Once I'm certain that my oil is hot enough, and you know your oil is hot, if I totally insert a wooden spoon and you see some bubbles, I'll slowly add in my fish. I'm going to deep fry these till they are golden. I've been turning this for about 5 minutes now and I can see that they are not the color that I want. I'll strain them. I'll strain off the oil then I'm going to add them onto a plate that I've lined with a gentile. Then I'll go in with my second one. So for this that I've already fried them, I'm going to salt them when they are hot. And this is going to help so that the kachumbi kashike. And you can also have this as a snack. This is actually good. In the meantime, as we wait for the others to finish frying, I'm going to be making my sauce. I'll go in with the same oil that I used to fry my fish. Then I'm also going to add in my onions. Once my onions start turning translucent, I'll add in my tomatoes. Remember that we have already salted our fish, so we are just going to go light on the salt. And this is going to help our tomatoes to dehydrate a little bit faster. Then I'm going to cover and cook for about 2 minutes till all my tomatoes are well softened. Once I'm happy with my tomatoes, I'll add in my seasoning cube. 
and I'll also add in my garlic. Then I'm also going to add in my tomato paste and I mixed it with some hot water so that it can cook a little bit faster and it can also lighten in terms of consistency. Then I'm going to cook this for about three to four minutes till I'm certain that my tomato paste is also well, well done. At this point, I'll go in with my fish and I've just been munching them slowly, slowly because they are actually very tasty. They taste like uh, fish balls. Then I'm going to mix this in. And once everything blends in together, I'll give it like two, three minutes and we are basically done. Just a small amount of water. Just look at this. And just like that, we are done. So let's proceed to the other side for serving and tasting. And as you've seen, it was that easy preparing this simple meal. And let's dig in. I'm using clean hands. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is bomb. This is such a simple but a delicious meal and as you see we didn't need a lot of ingredients and that's it for today's episode i hope you tried this recipe don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't and that next week you see in the next one bye